Hello, I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com, and this is a 2018 Arbor Clovis Snowboard. It's a big mountain free riding deck for intermediate to advanced level riders that features a three-year warranty. This is a cool deck that looks like a, uh, like a directional shape that actually rides like a twin board. Arbor calls it a non-symmetrical twin. So inside the contact points, the board's twin, the side cut radiuses, uh, the stands are all centered, but outside of the contact points, the tail is going to be a little bit shorter, the nose is going to be just a little bit longer, and of course a little bit taller to ride through deeper style snow. The deck is pretty interesting to get used to, I have to admit, because when you it looks so much like a directional board. When you're standing on it, you just assume that it's gonna feel like a directional board, and that's not the case. It really does ride like a twin style board, but for big mountain riding, which is kind of nice because when you're on groomers, um, it's just a little bit easier to manage. It does feature a parabolic camber style profile shape. When you set the board on flat ground, it's gonna have a nice little arc to it. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more stable, on, uh, on groomers than a traditional kind of like rocker style board or parabolic rocker board like Arbor offers in a couple of their decks. And it will have a feel and flex rating of about a seven, stiffer than your average board. This is a fun board, but again, it takes a little bit of time or it took me a little bit more time than I thought it would uh, to get used to like looking down your feet, seeing a directional style shape, but feeling a twin style board. Inside is a double barrel style wood core. Basically, it's tip tail rail to rail poplar, but there's two strips of bamboo down the center line of the board. There's triax fiberglass on top, biax fiberglass on bottom. It's called mixed glass. And then there's two laminates. The first one is the carbon A frame. Uh, there's actually strips of carbon from each contact point to about the beginning of the insert packs, both on the nose and the tail, to give it a little bit more liveliness. And then there's the American black walnut power ply top sheet. You can see it has a nice bit of gloss. It's actually a nice. I don't know woods really, but this looks like a nice wood. Um, kind of blends into the rest of the background here at the studio. Um, the base is centered, but you have to make sure to keep this thing waxed up throughout the season. Um, it's good to maintain it. It's good, a, a center base is always gonna ride faster waxed than unwaxed, of course. Um, but you should also keep in mind, if you don't wax it, it's gonna be slower than an extruded base. So keep, definitely keep that in mind. And then there's a 360 wrap standard steel edge. But the cool part about these edges and the side cut radius is that there's actually two side cut radiuses and what's called grip tech. So there's protruding style edges uh, where those insert packs are. And the cool part about them is there's a smaller side cut radius in between your feet and then a larger one that hits both on the nose and the tail. So you can rip this thing at fast and slow speeds to make large or small style arcing cars and it's gonna rip. And with that grip tech, it's gonna grip down on firmer snow. Uh, the Clovis is a super awesome board by Arbor Snowboards, of course. You can click the link below to check out all the decks. Um, have some fun on this thing. It rides well in deep snow and of course in the trees and on groomers. Um, I love that it has camber and again, it's a little bit stiffer than your average deck. So thanks so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment or a question. Let me know if you've ever ridden this thing before and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.